Now, as we continue our discussion of the general structure of the viruses, we've talked about the nucleo nucleocapsid, nucleocapsid, however you want to say it, genome capsid wrapped around it. Now, let's look a little closer at the envelope that may or may not be present, again, depending upon which species, which strain of viruses. As you see, figure that I've taken from a different textbook. As the virus, the capsid is complete, it's a complete structure, whether it's the icosahedron or the helical, it's wrapped around the genome, it'll be shuttled to the plasma membrane. There it's going to interact with viral proteins, the spikes that have embedded themselves in the host cell plasma membrane. As more and more the spikes start to interact with the icosahedron or the helical capsid, it'll cause the membrane, as you see there, to bulge out and then start to curve around. As it curves around, it strains and stretches the plasma membrane to the point that it either tears or automatically reseals as two separate membranes. That's how the viruses get their envelope. Now, when you're talking genomes, we're going to see that the genomes, whatever thing you're talking about, living thing on this planet, the genome is the complete blueprint on how to make and maintain that organism. Now, I'm jumping down to the last bullet here, but you look at the genome for viruses, they're extremely small. They're extremely short. Let me put things in perspective for you, relative perspective. Our genome measured in billions with a B bacteria, such as E. coli, Staphylococcus aureus, genomes measured in millions of bases, M. Viruses measured in the thousands of bases. Where our genomes, gene, 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 gene in line, there's gene overlapping, another lap, another lap. It's compressed everything into us small as package as possible. How that works? Well, if you really want to know, take virology with me sometime in the future. Now, jumping back up the above bullet point. When it comes to the genomes of viruses, they can be DNA or RNA. No other life form on this planet has a genome that's RNA. Everything else on this planet is DNA based. To add more complexity to that, DNA versus RNA, single stranded, double stranded. As you sit there watching this video, all the gene, all of your DNA is the double helix, two strands wrapped around each other. Viruses, yeah. single or double strand, a single stranded DNA, a single strand of RNA, or the double helix, made of DNA, made of RNA, using the same nucleotides as we do, just different structures. If it's a single strand of DNA or RNA, is it positive or is it negative sense? Positive sense means it can immediately be read by ribosomes as though it was messenger RNA. Codon by codon by codon, making a complete polypeptide. If it's a negative sense, well, it's the complementary strain. Here's the positive sense that can be read. Here's the complement of it. That's gobbledygook. For those viruses, the negative sense RNA or the negative sense DNA has to be copied to make the positive sense, which can now be read by ribosomes. And then is it one long single segment strand or is it segmented broken up into pieces kind of like how our chromosomes are but much much shorter so you look at the table here 
you see DNA versus RNA virus. You see doubles, you see single strands. And for those of you who are wondering, do we need to know examples of these? Do you have to have them all memorized? No. But in homeworks, on a test, you know, in a month or so, when you have test exam two, being able to sit there and discuss DNA versus RNA and have examples will be mandatory. And then for some viruses, very short list, they will actually carry along enzymes, and enzymes of specifics. We find that many of the RNA viruses have to carry along their own polymerase. Remember, polymerase, polymer making enzyme. It makes the DNA. It copies and makes new DNA. It copies DNA to make RNA strand. An example here, RNA dependent DNA polymerase, better known as reverse transcriptase. This is an enzyme that's going to be found in the HIV virus. HIV virus is a negative is a negative is an yeah it's a negative strand RNA single strand virus. So it has to have reverse transcriptase. RNA dependent means it reads RNA and it makes the DNA complementary copy. The DNA complementary copy then can be read to make many 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 copies of. RNA genome. 